Sadly, I don't remember my early childhood. An accident in junior high school robbed me of those memories, which is both a good and a bad in the context of this essay. The bad, I don't remember learning how to read. I have no memory of those first moments when reading clicked with me and I found the passion for the written word. The good is that I was placed in a unique position to rediscover the passion for reading. It all started on a long drive to Kamloops, BC. I was apparently getting squirrely in the truck, so at a gas station, my dad ran into the convenience store and bought me a stack of comic books. I don't really remember what those comics were, but they got me hooked. This passion fueled my burgeoning artistic ability and shaped how I approached reading. After my accident, my mind was all fuzzy. I remembered I liked comic books, but I remembered nothing about them. Luckily, I was also really bad at cleaning up after myself, and my room was littered with comic books. So I began reading again. It was easy to see what I loved about comics. They held nothing back. They didn't treat me like a kid. The words were bold and complicated and made me think. They tacked you with issues of isolation, of being different, or of persecution, of trying to find your place in the world. In short, they were my mental home. Especially in light of my mind being all blurred, comic books were an anchor to what came before. I devoured them, scoured bookstores and comic shops for back issues. I read them over and over again. I studied and copied the art within them. At a time when my world was turned upside down, they were the rock upon which I stood. They enhanced my vocabulary, but more importantly, they fueled my desire to read more. I branched out quickly, our school library having a wealth of books to choose from. I began with Choose Your Own Adventure, the line of books, loving the idea of my choices having an impact on the story. From there, I graduated to fight a fantasy novels, much like the Choose Your Own Adventure games, but with a heavier sci-fi and fantasy event, being more action like right? After devouring those, I moved up to full novels. My first novel I remember to this day is my favorite, Dragons of Autumn Twilight by Margaret Leeds and Tracy Hickman. It was the first of a trilogy of books, and then part of a larger series, and I was determined to read them all. And I did. Then I moved on to Michael Crichton and Jurassic Park. This was before the movie came out. I read the entire book in a day. I chewed through all of his novels at the time, Spear, Congo, many others. My parents were and still are very avid readers. My father in particular, a lover of all things Stephen King, had novels piled on top of a giant bookshelf in our basement. This was where I found Michael Crichton and, of course, Stephen King. As I graduated from high school, my reading time was consumed by textbooks, but I still found time to enjoy reading. Pulp novels like the just released at the time Heir to the Empire by Timothy Zahn filled my free time. Cartoon scripts like Calvin and Hobbes supplemented my comic book habit. In short, I read everything I could get my hands on, and to this day, I read every chance I get. I owe it all to my dad, him buying me comic books to keep me quiet, and having a giant stash of novels to graduate into. 